Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into a Virgin Interactive classic known as Beneath a Steel Sky. And actually, who were Virgin Interactive? Because they did a few classic games that I absolutely loved growing up. Like they did uh, Dune 2, uh, they've done Beneath a Steel Sky here. I know I've seen their name elsewhere. Um, so who were they? I don't know. I should. I need to look them up. Anyway, as you can see, this game takes place in a uh, kind of a post-apocalyptic future. It's an Earth that's been ravaged by pollution and nuclear war. It's described, I think, as a dystopian future, which, uh, you know, an Earth that's been ravaged by pollution and nuclear war is definitely pretty dystopian. Uh, borderlines on post-apocalyptic. I don't know how you draw the line in the sand. But anyway, this is a cyberpunk sci-fi point-and-click adventure game, which sounds right up my alley. And it takes place in a, we're going to call it post-apocalyptic, Australia. Now, uh, the main character is a dude named, let's see, what was his name? Robert, I think. Robert, he's a sole survivor as a child of a chopper crash out in the Australian outback, mate. It's my terrible Australian accent. I shall not offend the Aussies by continuing to try and uh, do an appropriate accent, so I'm just going to totally skip that. But uh, th this might be the cutscene telling us the backstory. You can go ahead and watch this if you want. This game is known for being, uh, for trying to be a combination between comic books and video games, trying to be sort of where the two meet. And it has some um, pretty amazing graphics for '94, which I think is when this came out. One of the lead artists from The Watchmen, by the way. Uh, what's his name here? What's his name here? Uh, I actually don't think I have it down. I think it said it in the opening montage there. But one of the lead uh, artists in The Watchmen actually was uh, involved in helping make this game so you're gonna you're gonna get some pretty awesome art um, and this game is sort of a hybrid between like Sierra and LucasArts games anyway uh, the whole backstory so you were a dude named Robert who uh, as a kid he was in a helicopter that crashed in the Australian outback he was then raised by uh, raised by locals um, they taught him both survival skills and advanced robotic skills which I don't know why uh, I don't know why tribes people know how to build robots, but he ended up building like a sentient robot named Joey, who exists on a circuit board, and he can actually swap that circuit board into different shells, which is pretty cool. It's like Joey. Uh, Joey is uh, getting new bodies, which is a pretty cool ability. Anyway, he uh, he he's raised with these people until security officers from the city show up and they murder all of his friends and family. So that's basically your backstory. Now he's hiding here, listening to. Some uh, some people from the city talk about wanting to catch him. That's a cop, I guess. I guess I'm the guy on the the walkway, kind of looking down like Batman style. Like if I had a cape and some batarangs, I would like pounce on that cop, knocking him out in one fell swoop. So basically, they're, they're saying that they want to hunt me down. I think the person who sent the order to hunt me down was a computer overlord named Link, who runs the entire uh, city. Which I mean, there's a lot of cool sci-fi elements to this. I have no idea what's going to happen other than that. Those are just the, the few notes I scrolled down uh, scrolled down here um, before I decided to get into the game because I wanted to know kind of what was going on, um, and I have a history of getting lost in these uh, these very rich story games. So it's always good to have always good to make notes in life, people. Well, the Reich, whoever you are, it's retribution time. Got to be clever. Play them play them at their own game. First thing is to get Joey running again. So Joey is my little AI companion that I built while I was off in the wasteland. And again, he's a sort of a sentient robot. You know, every boy makes a little sentient robot once in a while in their spare time. Let's go ahead and start inspecting things and see what it is we can do here. I could make use of that. I bet you could. So let's go ahead. So very simple controls. Left click to move around and to like uh, sort of inspect things right click to interact so I will right click on this and I'm gonna take this poll now I've already said this in many other games before but adventure heroes are kind of like uh, adventurous hobos because they really just sort of uh, go around and basically just collect any old piece of trash that they can they can find so we're gonna go here so here's our circuit board our Joey board and Joey is a uh, kind of a sleep there in uh, in circuit board form. 
That would be so cool, actually, if if your brain existed on a computer chip board and you could take it out and you could put it in like you could put it in a toaster, you could put it in a vacuum, you could put it in like a humanoid body, you could put it in like a robot dog body, you could put it in all sorts of really interesting things, uh, because then you could basically it'd be like being a shapeshifter, which would be okay in my opinion. If I could shapeshift, I would it would solve a lot of my immediate problems, because you could pretty much do whatever you want. Uh oh, oh, where did I go? Am I behind the door? He must have jumped. Fell all the way to the ground level. That was a very immediate conclusion. I, w I was on the door. <laughs> That's like the laziest cop ever. He didn't even bother to like look around the door. He's like, well, I'm late for lunch. Time to get out of here. So, what's this sign say? Ooh. Security symbol. I feel like this looks like uh, Zorg's symbol from uh, Fifth Element. They must be their headquarters. So in this dystopian future, we are in a neo-democratic society. Basically, the neo part of it is it is not democratic at all. Uh, it's, a so it's a society that's completely anti... Uh, oh, I love that loading symbol, the, the old computerized disc, the 3.5-inch floppy. So nostalgic. We're going to be seeing a lot of that. But uh, the neo and the neo-democratic basically means we don't believe in social benefits for anyone. So... You know, democracies are all about, like, taking care of everyone and making sure everyone has a fair say and stuff like that. Um, the idea of not doing that <laughs> is sort of, like, really not a democracy at that point. Um, this, this, what's this masher? Let's go and inspect this. So I don't know how far we're going to get in this game. Um, we're going to, we're just sort of going to play around with it and, and explore it here, see what this game is all about. That's basically what we've been doing with all our games. So if you're just joining us, you know, uh, on this quest of mine, uh, we're going through the book 1001 video games you must play before you die and seeing if these games are games that you should play before you die. Um, okay, so we have gone... We, we have basically escaped one cop here. Let's let's continue on our little journey here. Um, oh, here's here's a robot. What is this? Or it looks like a robot. A transporter droid. I wonder if I could fix it. Oh, you wonder right. If Joey was here, he'd know what to do. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put Joey into the robot. Damn, it's an old model with incompatible ports. Hmm. There's some, some There's junk down here. Maybe could we put Joey in the junk? Um, let's see. Alright, Joey. You're gonna exist in junk form. Oh, <laughs> he is. He's a little, little robot. Welcome back, Joey. Oh, my faithful companion. This is the best shell you could find? Uh, listen, we're in deep trouble. Uh, you've turned me into a vacuum cleaner. Literally, that's what I said earlier. It's functional. Don't be ungrateful. Now, I don't know where we are or why we were brought here, but I intend to get some answers. I've got a weird reading from my scanner. We're 120 meters above ground? Wait, the vacuum has scanners? What kind of vacuum system is this? That it has like advanced scanners and it can tell like how high you are off the ground and stuff like that? That's a sophisticated vacuum, let me tell you. Um, okay. Can we try and repair this thing now? Oh, look, he's following me. It's totally awesome. Come here, Joey. He looks like a little, uh... Looks like a little... What does he look like? A little, uh, uh, like a tank dog. Like a little robo-tank dog. Is there anything we can do with this, by the way, before we leave? There's a there's an exit over here before we get out of here. It's always good to explore everything in uh, adventure games. So let's go ahead and do it. Press the button. Uh, an alarm is going off. Okay, get, get, get out of there. Hey, what are you doing? Were you told? Routine inspection. Well, keep off that lift. Your weight set off the alarm. And I can't concentrate with all that noise. The old guy's right, you moron. The list designed for light machinery, not a hulky animal like you. Where did you get that robot? I built him. Like it? It's crap, son. What? <laughs> oh, well, you're nothing special either, man. Man. That is your real name, human. Um, let's let's have a let's have a little chit chat. What now? I like how he's, like, not phased by some random dude just showing up here. He's never seen me before in his life. Who's in charge around here, buddy? Not me. I just work here. Hobbins is the name. Who is in charge, and where can I find him? It's Lamb you'll be wanting. He's the supervisor. I like how the odd words are bolded. Who does he work for? Like, why is he bolded? The council, of course. I feel like they're yelling those, those words. 
All right, let's, uh, we're gonna reveal the fact that we should not be here by asking. Okay, here, pro tip. If you find somebody rummaging around in your workshop and they claim that they're supposed to be there and then they immediately start asking questions like, where am I? What city am I in? What year is it? Who are you? What's my name? They probably shouldn't be there. You're in the Union City of Recycling Plant. Uh, do you want to buy, do you buy scrap metal? I like this shell really. Okay. Um, how do we get out of the city? That's another good indicator. I do not belong in this city. Uh, you have to get to the ground level first. You're at the top of e uh, Erie Tower Block. Uh, can I use your lift? Uh, no, you can't. It's not built for humans. And besides, it only goes down to the furnace. What do you mean it's not built for humans? Like, a hu if it can transport machinery, was it not incompatible with humans? <laughs> Strong enough for a robot, made for a human. By Menon. Um, all right, what did security want? Uh, after a saboteur, you see anything suspicious? Besides some random guy rummaging around here who should clearly not be here? No, I haven't seen anything, buddy. Um, only an overzealous security agent. All right, so, all right, so how do I get to ground level? Well, there's an elevator out on the walkway. Of course, you can't reach it right now. Why not? Because Reich's boys are guarding the exit from the plant. Ah, okay. Um, tell me more about the council. They govern the city. What's that? Computer they built. So Link is their computer advisor. Uh, what was it like before Link? Uh, those were the days we didn't have problems we got now. So who built the computer? Uh, flipping research scientists, probably. Uh, I like how they have sort of Australian curse words. Uh, yeah, flipping research scientists. Fire exit, it's not safe, you break your legs. All right, I think we're pretty much done with this guy. He's, he's getting, this is, the conversation's becoming very boring. Um, what's wrong with the transporter? It's broken down again. It's probably Doppler charge inducer, but I haven't got time to mend it right now. All right, thank you, buddy. Thank you for all your interesting help. I'm just gonna go over here now. Don't mind me. I clearly know, I, I clearly should be here. Uh, but I'm just going to oh my guy he took a really roundabout way to that exit Okay, just can you get to the exit there, bro? Bro, <laughs> there we go All right, what's going on in here? Everything seems to be uh, in order. What is this stuff? These figures mean nothing to me I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, press some buttons here boop, 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 boop. I'm inspecting these must be a secret combination. I'll come back to that later unless you want to tell me your combination what is your combination, sir? <laughs> the little robot's totally getting in the way of these guys. What now? What goes on in here? That's my workshop. It's very impressive. Uh, symbol of dehumanized society. The futile struggle against entropy. Symbol my bum. The only thing this symbolizes is 30 years of hard graft. hey -o. What are you making? Uh, a special job, a drive shaft. Lamb needs it for the pipe factory. What? You need a sh you need a lot. Wait, you have a factory that makes pipes, and what you need to run that factory is a long steel pole. Because let me tell you, let me let me put two and two together for you. You may have what you need in that factory all along. Just use a freaking pipe. Must be controlled by the computer. Okay, I wonder if we're supposed to do anything here, Joey. Um, can you distract the maintenance man? Uh, what do you suggest? A song and dance routine? A few conjuring tricks? Now you're being silly. Um, okay. Well, forget it, Joey. You weren't very helpful. Oh, the lathe is doing stuff. Where's Joey? He didn't follow me. Joey! Joey! There we go. Um, let's see here. Can you start that transporter? What do you expect me to do that? I'm just a cleaning droid, remember? Uh, the Knopfler charge reducer thingy. In that case, all it needs is a jump start. There we go. What's he gonna do? This is embarrassing, Foster. Uh, you're not gonna watch, are you? I've always suspected you of being a voyeur. Come on, just do it. Here it goes. It's like uh, R2-D2 plugging into, uh, plugging into all those computers in Star Wars. There, how was it for you? They're making, they're making sexual references. It's a joke, guys. Where did that thing go? Just pieced out? It was like, I'm alive again, thank you! Where's it going? I think it's... 
Is it just leaving? It's like, forget this. I waited 20 years of this, this lousy job. Now I'm gonna get out of here. Hey, what is that? What is that? It's, it's got like a can. Interesting. Okay, let's wait for it. Let's see if it comes back over here. It's gonna go on this elevator. That will be our chance. Maybe we'll maybe we'll wait here preemptively. I think we might have set off the alarm again. I told you to stay off that that elevator. It's my life's work to keep no one from using that elevator. Oh, I brought the uh, the can thing over here. Okay, we're gonna go over here and maybe we can like rummage around. Oh, cupboards. Here we go. Hey, look at this. A sandwich. We're taking this guy's lunch. And a spanner. Uh, that's my personal property. Well, I already took it. Oh no, I didn't. Can we distract him again? This guy's the worst. He's like, hey, I caught that guy trying to steal my sandwich. Then he's going back on the elevator. I'm just gonna go watch him again. And assume everything will be okay with that sweet, sweet sandwich. We should eat the sandwich right in front of him. Really piss him off. Not again. Just double checking. Now, now we use our, our keen adventure game senses to go and rob this guy blind. See, we're just like adventurous hobo. We, uh, in fact, we're not even hobo. We're just straight up thieves. It's okay. If, if adventure games taught me one thing growing up, it's, it's okay to be a thief. Then he comes back. He's like, hmm, the cupboard's open again. There's nothing in here, but this legitimate inspector is just hanging around. Oh, well, I guess it's nothing. I'll just get back to work now. Oh, the, the elevator did go down. Oh, I think I think this fixed robot is like dumping things randomly into the elevator. So how is this elevator incompatible with humans? That doesn't make any sense. I kind of wish I could like take all this junk and build like some super cyborg robot. So this robot puts stuff there and he like pieces out. Let's go into the hole. Into the hole, boys. There we go. We we successfully made it to the furnace room without getting dumped into the furnace. Now. Hey, wait. Joey didn't follow us. Oh, no. Was that essential? <laughs> uh. All right. Well, we just... We'll, we'll go with it. We'll leave Joey... Joey, uh... Joey to it. Let's see if we can just smash this... This, uh, lock with a wrench. No? No buttons. Just a thin slot. Hmm. Maybe we could, like, knock on the door and get someone to, to let us in? Maybe we can use that. Nope. Maybe we can use this on the door. Oh, here comes Joey! Holy crap! He has a, a helicopter thing! Cool. Ah, I mean, if I had that, it would actually solve all my problems. I could just fly off the balcony and be done, be done with it. Oh, there's a camera watching us. That is not good. It's too much... It's too high to reach. So... I thought we were being all sneaky here, but now we've just totally given it away. Now, we've successfully locked ourselves in the furnace room. Now we're just waiting to be arrested. We are we are adventure game champions. Uh-oh. Uh How do we get out of this one? Hmm. Maybe Joey can do something. Uh, you didn't tell me you could fly. I didn't know. I, I had it in me. All right, can you open this door? This is what they did in Star Wars, right? Like, every time they got trapped in a place, it would just be like, R2, hack this door! R2 was like literally the most useful droid ever. He was like the Swiss Army knife of droids. No sudden moves. Get over to the furnace. Uh oh. We we successfully got captured. Uh, you're Officer Reich, I presume. You've made a mistake. I'm not Overman. Oh oh. What the? What what happened there? Link, we can't let him escape. Oh oh. He got the. Cut in hell. What the hell is going on? Reich seems pretty cut up about it. Uh, he's giving me two leads, Overman and Link. Oh, my God. Well, let's inspect the corpse. I'm not above uh, I'm not above grave digging. Let's go ahead and inspect this body. Uh, he was carrying an ID card. Card may be useful. I'll take his dark glasses, too. Also, there's a photo of his, uh, his family and his wife. I'll take these, too. And, uh... And a present for his children. I'll use this. I'll be able to bribe a prostitute with them. Poor guy. He was just doing his job. That's why you don't. That's why you don't just sort of 
you know, do whatever uh, a computer overlord tells you to do in a post-apocalyptic future. Because let me tell you, dystopia or not, this this definitely looks post-apocalyptic. We're way up in the clouds, Joey. We need to find a way to the ground. It's up in the clouds, having sweet, sweet dreams. Um, does this where where is this lead? It says exit, but I feel like it's an entrance. Oh, hello. Uh, man and man. Okay. Well, I'll bite. What's going on with these guys? Tell me a story, yeah? Yeah? How do I get down to the ground level? Who is Overman? You can get information from the link terminal. Just who are you, anyway? I'm just here to inspect the building, yeah? That's right. Routine inspection, yeah? You heard anything about inspection, Sam? What kind of inspection? Routine inspection. Routine, huh? That's unusual. It's not convenient right now. Quit pestering me. I'm busy. I like how this guy's cover story for everything is I'm just here to inspect stuff. I'm I'm just a general inspector dude. I wonder if that would actually work in real life. Like if you showed up somewhere that you clearly weren't supposed to be and you're like, routine inspection, folks. Uh, you know, no need to worry. Here's a link terminal. This feels like uh, Judge Dredd. Like if you, the old Sylvester Stallone movie. Feels kind of like Judge Dredd's uh, city. Can I use the link terminal? Nothing happens. Maybe Joey can use the link terminal. Never mind. Okay, forget it. Forget I asked. Forget I asked. See what's in here. In one of these rooms is going to be a random person who's willing to help me. Like this woman. She looks nice. Maybe if it doesn't work out, we can still ask her out on a date. Be like, look, I was raised by uh, by by locals in, in the wild. I don't have a lot of table manners, but I'm good at robots and survival skills. So please go out with me. Uh, what are you doing here? How do I get down to the ground level? What's the ground level? What's he looking for down there? You know, it's like sometimes people, like, they spend their whole life trying to achieve something, then they get it, and they're still not happy. I don't think happiness awaits us on the ground level. Maybe you should just start a life up here with her. You know, think about that next time you ask about ground level. What are you doing? Uh, they have to be perfect. Oh, it's the pipe factory. That's ridiculous. If they have to be perfect, uh, they should be checked by a robot. What's that? That's my mechanoid chum, Joey. It's cute. Does it do tricks? Not really. He just follows me around and goes and gets in my way. Yeah, that is true. Uh, have security been in here? Yeah, they were real stirred up. Look, I uh, think they were looking for someone. <laughs> they were looking for someone. Also, who are you? <laughs> it's clearly not me. Don't worry about it. They're not trying to find me. Take the elevator uh, or the big jump if you're desperate. Uh, look, I'm not supposed to talk to you. Why not? Supervisor's orders. Whoa. That's your supervisor? He's like walking around in a pimp coat. Like a like just big old fur bear coat. Don't answer back. Report immediately to the testing room. Jeez. She got told. What are you doing here? Uh, do you know who I am, lad? I had no idea. I don't work here. I don't work here. I'm just wandering around the production floor. Um, seems legit. Mind if I look around? I certainly do. Who are you? Uh, security looking for a fugitive. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna now pretend to be security. That that should work. Uh, the factory's been searched already. He's not here. Can't be too careful. Just don't interfere with production. You don't want to see any credentials. Just anyone could walk into your factory and say they're security, um, because that's that's what's happening right now. Lamb. Oh, this is the dude Lamb that we heard about. That uh, man. <laughs> The first man we encountered told us, but I think his name was Hobbins. All right, he told us not to do stuff. But let's just go ahead and press some switches. This place is incomprehensible. Joey. Oh, there's nothing he can do. Uh, what's going on with the robot? Let's see, can we hack this robot? There's no access to his insides. Well, I have a wrench. Oh wait, I have a wrench. Let's go ahead and wrench him. Uh, I'd be crazy to dismantle robot while it's active. You wouldn't. Let's go find. Let's go find out what happened to the girl. I'm not. I'm not done with her. I want to find out this. This testing. I mean, Lamb took off for the day. It's. It's two o'clock. His day is over. That's what. That's what happens when you're management. Let's just go into his. His uh, private office here. Hey. Oh, somebody actually stopped me from doing something. That guy looks like he has a Hitler mustache. By the way, I thought it was a toilet. It's a storeroom for robots only. Lamb doesn't trust humans to go in there, even though there's nothing worth pinching. What? What's with all these robot, robot-only elevators, robot-only storerooms? Man, what happened in the future? 
Things got really segregated between humanoids and robos. Uh, any intruders? How do I get off this level? What can you tell me about the council? Imagine someone stopped you in the middle of your day at work and was like, what can you tell me about the government? It's like, wouldn't that be, you'd be like, who are you? I got work to do. All right, tell me about the government, buddy. Tell me everything you know about the government. I want a detailed history. I used to think they did a great job, but since they promoted lamb, I've had my doubts. Any intruders here? You know, like suspicious people who walk in, try to go into storerooms where they shouldn't be? Nope. <laughs> it's like the double deception. I'm pretending to, uh... I'm pretending to be security, looking for an intruder, as I am actually the intruder. It's brilliant! Nobody will ever see through this ruse. That ruse, ruse is foolproof. Yeah, seen anything suspicious? I've been too busy with this rush job. Um, don't you get bored? <laughs> Your job sucks, buddy. Isn't it kind of boring being you? Do doesn't it? Aren't you depressed? Don't you just think about killing yourself all the time? Isn't it boring being here? I like my job. What's so good about it? This clipboard for starters, and look at the finish on that plastic. Lovely piece of lamination. Blah, blah, blah. This guy, he should be bored, but instead he's boring. Uh, do you know about a guy named Overman? Sure, this guy seems plugged in. Let's see what he knows about Overman. I don't think so. Certainly doesn't work here. Yeah, I guess I guess he's not as with it as I thought. Um, hey, you need a rad suit if you're gonna go in there. Uh, protective clothing. Uh, imagine it was like a rad suit. Like, whoa, that suit is totally rad. Okay, cogs. All right, let's. Uh, you know, something in this factory can get wrenched. We're gonna figure out what it is. What? That didn't work. Go ahead and go ahead and just jam your wrench in there. Only good things will happen, I'm sure. That won't mess anything up. That's really put spanner in the works. Oh no, production stopped. You wouldn't know anything about it, would you? Uh <laughs> The machinery looks outdated and old and crappy to me. It's not that old. It was only built thirty years ago. That explains why it stopped, doesn't it? Oh, I think I'll pretend I didn't notice it. What? You're just gonna note. You're gonna pretend that things didn't stop working. Okay. okay. Maybe, maybe now we can get into the storeroom. Some kind of scanner. No, no, no. Go, go into the the, the storeroom. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Oh, it's like a, it's like one of those alarms where when you walk out of a store with like a shirt you haven't paid for, it goes off. Wait, can we wrench those? Oh, wait. Oh, we jammed the cogs. So we don't get our wrench back now? Hmm. Maybe. Oh, the robot seems to stop. Maybe I can go ahead and do something to him. There's no access to his insides. Hmm, we have a bit of a puzzle here, guys. Okay, well, I'm not leaving without my trusty wrench. So we're gonna go back in here and grab. They call it a spanner. That must be Australian for wrench. Or maybe it's dystopian for wrench. Uh, I'll keep this spanner, it's really useful. Oh, the production is still stopped. Okay. Well, we success... S Huzzah! We successfully shut down a pipe factory. We are heroes of the future. Heroes. Okay, now let's try and also break a robot. And our day will be complete. Let's go ahead and, like, just bust this thing open. Um, oh, robot shell, eh? You know what? Maybe... Maybe we can give Joey an old upgrade here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put him in the robot. Come over here, Joey, you're getting an upgrade. Well, that's cool, we can continue to upgrade Joey. I wanna upgrade him into, like, some kind of giant combat mech. Like, the Iron Giant or something like that. Like, make him just huge. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, what? <laughs> that wasn't what I had in mind. I thought we would... We just, we just dumped the top of... You, that's not how you build robots! You just dumped one piece of robot on top of another. Okay, I I suppose this guy's just having a smoke break. We literally literally shut down his whole factory, and we're leaving with well, like clearly we've stolen this robot. He's like we're leaving with more robot than we showed up to his factory with. Yeah, nothing suspicious about that. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Um. Oh. Oh. There seems to have been an accident here. Um, I kind of want to talk to the security officer, but it might give the game away. He might know that, uh, I might not be able to bluff past him that I'm a security officer. I mean, I'm not even in a security uniform. How does this guy think I was a security officer? 
Okay, let's go back in here for a second. Maybe we can do something now that uh, Joey's got the old upgrades. Come over here, Joey. Get in here, Joey. I wonder if these guys are all talking with Australian accents. Um, how do you like that new shell? It's sleek. Can't wait to use the welder. Uh, you'd be careful with that thing. Uh, if I want to use it, I'll tell you. Exterminate, exterminate, and cut that out. That's pretty funny. We built a robot with a sense of humor. I tell you what, Joey, you're going to use the welder on the back of this guy's head. Trust me, his life is pointless. He has no wife, no friends. Nobody will miss him, Joey. Joey, get over here. Joey, there's killing that needs a doing. Um... Oh, actually, no, go in the storeroom. How about that? Okay, fine, killing, put, we're putting killing on hold. What's the catch? There is no catch. There could be something useful in there. Don't count on it. Just get your lazy robot ass in there and steal whatever is it nailed to the floor. We're heroes of adventures. This is what we do, Joey. We do this and we kill people. It's how this game works. Find a rad suit in there. Either a suit that will protect me from radiation or a suit that looks really, really cool for this weekend. I don't care. Better be rad, though. Or a rad, rad suit. Like a radiation protective suit that also looks awesome. I would definitely take that. All right, what's in there? Find anything useful? I don't know, but I found the power for the alarm system. There's a fuse box on the wall. Joe, you're brilliant. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, just disable it. Go and disable the fuse box. Um, but I'm feeling reckless. Welding is fun. Take care of it, Joey. Ugh, it's like you gotta. It's like it's like this rob this this robot has never been involved in like some low stakes crime before. You gotta like hold his hand through everything. It's like, man, if you find the fuse box that could disable all the security in a building, you automatically go ahead and smash it with a hammer. That's what you, that's what we do, Joey. Where have you been? All right, now we're in this sweet security room. We're definitely gonna take this thing. WD forty. And a key? No, no, take it. No. Take, take, take it. Take, take it. Now, don't just shrug at me. What? You, can you not reach it? Okay, hold on. A puzzle has emerged. Okay, Joey has nothing to, nothing to contribute. It's gonna go, we have a gangway, whatever this is. Oh, hello. Okay, now we can get the WD-40. This is like Slyly's like stuff that into my uh, jacket. Nothing suspicious about that. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the sneakiest way to take something. Oh, hello, putty. Gonna take that too. Anything else worth taking? How about we just peel this sign off the wall and like grab a couple of boxes? So we have a key. Dark glasses. Those glasses look warped. I think when that guy got cut in half, they kind of got bent. A uh, putty. A key. Uh, key has bulwark stamped on its shaft, okay? Uh, All-purpose cleaning lubricants. Uh, soft and plastic. They are broken. I called it. I called it. Plastic ID card bears only the security logo. Oh, so maybe I could, I could pass as a security officer because in the future they forgot to take photos when you're giving your government employees IDs. So I just have a security guard card that says I'm security and there's no photos. So nobody can... Uh, Nobody can prove me wrong. Um, what? What for? I'm not a criminal. It's only the supervisor's orders. If anything's missing, I get the blame. Hey, that tickles. Open up the coat. What are you carrying? That crowbar? It's got sentimental value. My mother gave it to me. Is that a spanner? I carry for luck. Your walking toolbox. Blimey, smart shades. You can have them if you like. Really, I could fix them with sticky tape. What? He just robbed me. Is that a can? Yes. One squirt and it's just the job. I'll never be without my can of... You are now. Because that can is mine. What? He's... Uh, help! Help! I'm being robbed! Um... He's... he's ta he took my sandwich! He, oh, he's taking everything! What the hell? Oh, this is... This is... This is... This is bull, man. I'm a security officer. I should be... If anyone should be... Uh corruptfully stealing from somebody it should be me stealing from you um oh my god all right joey we're back to plan a get that welding torch out buddy there's uh one less human the world needs oh come on joey joey just a little light J joey a little a little light murder like i stole all our good stuff joey he took all we have left is putty 
And he took the he took the sandwich. I was saving that and the sunglasses. You son of a beach. Ah, oh, I I want to exact a horrible vengeance on you. Also, whatever happened to that girl? I thought she was going to be an integral part of this story, uh, or factory at least. I thought I would have like more than two lines with her. Damn it. Well, I mean, we messed up their... We, we shut down enti the entire production of their factory and destroyed one of their robots. I guess that's okay, but I really wanted that key, man. That key was essential. Look at this bastard. You know your employees suck. Um, wait. Yeah, yeah, go. Just get out. Oh, can we hop in the elevator with you? Can we hop in the elevator with you? You're going somewhere? Uh, Interlevel access suspended during routine anti-terror strike security services protecting the community. We're just gonna like casually, we're just gonna like really get up behind him. As soon as that door opens, we're going in. We want to go down to the lower levels. If this thing ever comes. Is it coming? Nope. Nope. Okay, well even he's trapped here. Well, that makes me feel better. Okay, what is this? It's a cable over here. Let's see what's going on. A uh, loose cable can be very useful. All right, uh, Joey, get your worthless butt over here. Can we get off this level, Joey? Fancy doing some welding? You bet. I want some action. Who's the victim, dude? You could have killed somebody in there. It would have been awesome. Didn't give me the option to. Asimov's Law of Robotics. That's fiction, Foster. It's just some some guy made up. Uh, they're talking about not killing people. Um, I think is he going to? steal that cable too i hope this cable powers that guy's the the life support system that is keeping that guy's mother alive because he stole my uh he stole my my wd-40 my key oh joey joey dude you cut the, i wasn't anywhere near i couldn't grab the cable oh my god okay well uh to hell with this get out of here let's we've done all the damage we can do around here see ya lamb good luck with that stupid factory i inspected the crap out of it <laughs> when i inspect a building it pretty much uh pretty much means i'm just going in for i i am the saboteur totally totally my my idea of inspecting a building is just some uh some light sabotage a bit of light treason to start your day you're not going here let's do these buildings in order boys we don't want to miss anything. Um, oh, okay, we've been here before. This this place is boring. I wonder, you know what would be awesome? If Hobbins and that other guy from the factory had like a common lunchroom and they sit down to have lunch and the other guy's eating a Hobbins sandwich and Hobbins is like, what the hell, man? That's my sandwich. I knew somebody stole it earlier today. He's like, oh, I didn't steal it. I took it from some other guy. He's like, yeah, right. And they get in like a bloody fist fight in the middle of the lunchroom. And then that, that stupid factory guy is like taken away on a stretcher. That's what I want. Is this guy crying or smoking or sleeping? What's happening here? What is hanging out of his mouth? That's, this is weird. Okay, what do we got? Uh, we have man and we have control panel switch. Okay, before we wake up man, let's go ahead and start fiddling with buttons and see how far we can get. Can't reach the switches. Um, press the switch. Click, oh. Leave that alone. You trying to kill yourself? No. Oh, so you aren't dead. All right. Let's have a little conversation. Excuse me. Yes. What do you want? Speak up. I'm here to inspect. Oh, how about? Can you fix the lift? You what? I said you what? I know that. It won't work till security says so. Who are you anyway? My name's Foster. Stay away from him, Rob. He's a human bomb. What are you talking about? He's got a fuse in his mouth. Uh, that's a cigarette. He's inhaling, oh, <laughs> a human bomb. That's pretty funny. This game does actually have a bit of LucasArts humor to it. Um, as I already said, the game tries to combine both the sort of uh, genuine, you know, Sierra kind of adventures with the um, with the sort of zaniness of LucasArts. So it, it, it kind of tries to, to strike a balance between the two. Anyway, have security been through here? Uh, yes, they have. Not a moment's peace. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, tell me about this guy called Overman. Never heard of him. Um, I want to get out of the city. Uh, you what? Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. 
All right, conversation with him is useless. I feel like Han Solo in uh, Star Wars, where he just shoots the control panel. He's like, conversation was boring anyway. Uh, right before he's like, Luke, we're gonna have company. Okay, this is a job for the wrench. Mm. Oh, there's a button over here. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and smash this with a wrench. Here's how you get the elevator to work. Huh, huh. I've loosened the nut. Oh, that was far less dramatic. I didn't mean loosen the nut. I meant literally smash the panel with a wrench. Um. <laughs> hey, Joey, go ahead and press that button. Uh, let's just see if something bad happens. I like how he's pressing it in case it, like, electrocutes us or, like, kills us or something like that. Um, hold on. Try pressing that button again. And I'm gonna press this button. I wish there was an option, murder human, so I could kill that other guy. Okay, there has to be something with Joey pressing this button. There's a safety device? What? Oh, wait. We could use the wrench on that one, too. Got it. Got it. Now we can both press the buttons. This is gonna be great! Just two chums pressing some buttons, having a having a grand old time. Now you've done it, mate, and I have to fetch the old Aubins. Hey, ha ha, Aubins, cool. Um, he wants me to stay here in case there's an explosion. I like how he's like, you've clearly sabotaged and damaged this place. You know who needs to watch it to make sure nothing bad happens is you. While I go for help, it's like clearly, clearly I'm the bad guy. It's like getting the wolf to guard the hen house. It's not gonna go well. Okay, this, this wrench has been invaluable, by the way. Um, no, we need the spanner. Use on the control panel. Break it all open! Or, I don't know, press the switch then. Now... Hey, there's a light bulb. Go ahead and take the light bulb. That'll come in handy. Okay. We can put the putty in the light bulb socket. I don't know what that actually gets us. But now we can like flip the switch back and oh, how did that work? I I do not even know. I guess just try random things in adventure games, and sometimes things will work out for the best. Just gonna go ahead and follow my own advice here and flick a couple of switches. So I just flick that one up. We'll flip this one down, and who knows what what treasures that has unlocked? But we've done all the damage we can do around here. Let's go ahead and peace out. Um, so we've messed we've messed with the electrical plant and the factory. Maybe we have to go back to the bridge where the crashed plane was. Uh, down there's the furnace. We never really did fully explore in here, but to hell with it. There's just a couple of boring dudes hanging around in there. Let's let's. I, I think we might actually be able to use the elevator now because we're messing around with the power plant. Nothing happens. What if we use the ID card? Oh, the elevator's open. See ya, Joey. Nah, Joey will find us. He's a faithful companion. I want to get that red cable that I got. Oh, there it is. Speak of the devil. And we have successfully made it out of the grim and disgusting industrial area. Let's just very quickly kind of like look around here. I have a feeling I, I'm going to wrap this video up here um, because... You know, we've been going for quite a while here, and, uh, you know, we have to call it quits at some point. But uh, this has been sort of the opening of Beneath the Steel Sky, uh, an adventure game by Virgin Interactive. And, uh, <laughs> man, the aesthetics of the game changed quite a bit. This guy, he looks kind of creepy, actually. So we're in like a travel agency. What else is around here? Um, this game is really cool. I, I totally dig the aesthetic and the atmosphere of it. Um, I like the sort of dystopian futuristic feel. We're in like some kind of like mega city. It also does feel like a lost LucasArts game. Um, you know, it, it, in terms of the idea of, you know, this is one of the games in the book, 1001 Games You Must Play Before You Die. Is this a game that you must play? Um, this game, it seems, it seems pretty fun. It seems like a pretty well-made adventure game. If you are a fan of, like, either LucasArts or Sierra-style adventure games, I could totally see this being a game that, uh, you definitely must check out. Where's Joey, by the way? He has not caught up yet. Hopefully we didn't actually abandon him, because he was pretty damn useful, actually. But maybe he's in a better place now. Um, oh, who's this guy? He looks very depressed and alone. 
But uh, things look a lot prettier down here. This is like where the civilians live, I, I, uh, I'm guessing. Hi, my name's Foster. Pleased to meet you. I'm Galaga. Good Australian name, Galaga. Um, anyway, we'll just sort of skip through this conversation here. So, yeah, I think that this is a, a pretty cool game. I think uh, if you like adventure games, it's a game you'd probably uh, enjoy. And so you've kind of seen the opening, uh, the opening couple of uh, moves uh, through this video here. So if this looks interesting to you, hey, you might want to go check it out, get a copy for yourself, and continue playing, continue figuring out what, what happens to Foster on his uh, uh, Burke's biosurgery. Ugh. To foster on his uh, amazing adventure here. But, uh, yeah. So what do you guys think? After seeing Beneath the Seal Sky here, does it seem like a... Oh! <laughs> wow! Do you want amazing boobs or muscles or nose? Or how about just a great butt? Uh, come on oh, come on in. You know what? I want to get... I want this butt. I want the poster butt. Can, can I get that? Can they give me the poster butt? What, what does he say? Uh, it's immovable as a stain on my conscience? Whoa. That's like, that guy's telegraphing that he has, like, some regret about some stuff he's done in his life. A leaflet. Good grief. It's, uh, positively pornographic. Naked people with extra parts. The things folks do for fashion. What? If it's pornographic, yo, keep that. Hold on to that, dude. <laughs> Uh, anyway, guys, uh, that's my opinion of uh, Beneath the Steel Sky here. I think it is a fun game, a uh, good adventure game for anyone who likes adventure games, and probably worth a shot if it's uh, if that sounds like it's up your alley. But what do you guys think? Do you think this is a game that you would uh, actually go ahead and play? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, whether you've enjoyed the game or not, hopefully you enjoyed hanging out with me. If you have, go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel, because I will be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game. Hey, you don't want to miss out on that. So until next time, my friends, I'm going to be wandering around pretty aimlessly. Oh, this, why would you ever take the back route? That doesn't make any sense. It's kind of cool that you can walk around the background, but it seems pretty useless. Unless maybe you have to, like, tie the cable here and, like, jump down. Seriously, where did where did Joey go? Joey just did not follow us. Oh, man. Anyway, guys, until next time, I'm just going to be wandering around in this dystopian future looking for Joey. Joey! And uh, you guys take care of yourselves. All right, peace. Hey, there's Lamb. What the hell was he doing over there? You know, if we really were living in a dystopian future, do you think we'd know we were in a dystopian future? It's like, do people in the dystopia know they're in a dystopia? Kind of like the whole thing of like how even bad guys think they're the good guys. Like, nobody thinks they're actually the bad guy. So like, I wonder. Maybe we're in a dystopian future right now, and meanwhile we're just bobbing around living our lives in this gross, disgusting, dystopian future.